turn off, get your left foot to carry, and move on. Palm in the bottom of that. people. Yep, Paul. So I'm working with the big jig today and a little beaver. It's the first time he's used a big jig. And he's only used a little beaver a couple of times. So, make sure it's getting on the way out. Good. Pull up. Can we get one more in there? Yeah. I think so. What do you guys think? One more? dug without the dig jig and this is the kind of mess you would normally have to clean up. But today the homeowner's got a corner of his yard he'd like to have the dirt piled. So it was a great day to bring up the dig jig and move the dirt across the yard. Uh, actually he's taking a load over right now. That's that cord. Just 
flip it completely upside down. Pull that off there. That'll work. And then go back to the hole upside down and get some more ground clamps. You got it? Yeah. I've never used one of these. Today's the first day. First day. First day for everything. A little bit of job today, just a dog eared, uh, privacy dog eared fence. 80 feet, two gates. The goal today is not to build as fast as possible. The goal today is different tips and tricks we can do to make the day less stressful for our guys. Yeah, for these, these guys here with accent fence, um, they're not necessarily new to building fence. They're new to accent fence and they're trying to create um, process and procedures where they can get predictable, measurable results day in, day out as far as productivity and uh, quality standards, right? So here's a dog ear fence behind us. I don't know who built it, but uh, one of the things we worry about when we build fence is proper footing so it doesn't move back and forth, proper nail pattern so the boards have less likely to work, um, gates. We're going to work on a gate frame today that is less likely to do this. This is working here. Kind of twisted. So the gate design we're going to use today will uh, prevent most of that. I'm not going to guarantee it's going to prevent all of it, but drastically reduce how much of this warping happens. Uh, these board, these gates like this, in the way that they're typically playing. So we'll we'll show that later on today. I'm gonna live video. Right now, we got the equalizer set up, so all the spaces are equal between uh, posts here. I think they were supposed to be 92 inches, and there's a cantilevered section at the end. That's as close as we can get that post to the existing fence, and cantilever the rails the rest of the way. So that section from post to post will be a little bit shorter than the rest, but the rail length will be the exact same as the rest of the sections uh, using the equalizer. But today, we got the mini equalizer out. We're going to come out with a mini version, which is half the length of the original version, save some cost, and it'll work for most of your lines. It'll be 78 feet. Um, most of your lines in your residential yards, small yards, so that'll work just fine. The bigger version will do 158 feet, um, 182 feet. So it's a great option, less money to get into the equalizer. This is not our string line. You know Sean's anti string line. This wasn't me! I didn't do this. The homeowner put this out. He wanted us to be six inches away from that to the face of our post. And so we end up putting the fence approximately four inches off the property line, or what he, he calls the property line, the, um, where he wants to keep it off. Um, so. That's it for right now. What else? Own your holes. Own your holes. That means that when we come back through here and dig these holes out, after he orders that one, we clean them out. When we clean them out, it's the, on the hole. Make sure the hole is going to be to the line this way. Make sure it's on the tag this way and make sure the depth is perfect. If we do those key things, setting the posts is pretty easy at that point. If we don't, then we have to come over holes, pull posts back out of the holes. Holes won't be deep enough or holes will be too deep, so posts gonna be pulled up or down, pushed to go down. All that's extra work that we don't need. So uh, let's own our holes. Please, dear God, own your holes.